arts and crafts online video. SH Raza, action. Hi artists and crafts families, Miss Jackie here. Today's artist is SH Raza, and our project is inspired by the celebration of Diwali, the festival of lights. Diwali is India's biggest and most important holiday that celebrates the victory of forces of light over forces of darkness. S.H. Raza's most famous artwork centers around the Bindu, a point or source of energy, which was used to help him focus as a young child. His art also contains geometric symmetry and bright, vibrant colors. Today, we will be making our artist and crafts version of Rangoli. Rangoli is a colorful art form created on the ground using colored rice, sand, quartz powder, or flower petals. The designs usually include a lotus flower and are symmetrical. They represent harmony and calmness. You can find Rangoli created on the threshold of a house to welcome guests and symbolize kindness, good luck, and prosperity. For this project, you'll need a paper plate, the artist and crafts printout, rice, uncooked rice, food coloring, glue, plastic bags, a pencil, and I like to call this a roasting pan. Okay, a roasting pan. We're going to make this project on our paper plate, or pizza plate as some of our kiddos call it. Um, to help you out, we did make a template for you. So they, you have two options here. You could either make your art right on the paper that you printed out, or you could put your template on the paper plate and trace it. You could also make art right on our template or freehand your own. I know many of our artists and crafts grown-ups are talented artists themselves. Okay, ready? Ready for the picture. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually really good. Right, so you could kind of see the lines just faintly. And we'll use them as our guide when we add our glue. Now that we have this on the paper plate, the next thing we have to do is the rice. So rice. you're gonna take your rice and you're gonna put some rice into each bag. How many colors do you think we should have? Four? Maybe. How many colors are in there? Separate your rice into four baggies. Our artist of the day is S.H. Raza, and he used very bold, vivid colors in his artwork. So let's try to make these colors as bold as we can. Add a different color food coloring to each bag, seal, and mix it by squishing it and moving the color all around. When you close your bag, try to get most of the air out. Then, be sure to seal it tight. As an extra precaution, we suggest holding it by the seal while you shake it. So now that we have our rice dyed different colors, we have red, blue, green, purple, and yellow. We will apply one color of rice at a time. So you're gonna put your glue everywhere you want your red rice. You're gonna do each color one at a time, right? Yeah, so just outline whatever you want it to be red. So now, you're gonna take your red rice and sprinkle it on top. Now the nice part about this is if it gets other places besides where you have the glue, it doesn't matter because we're gonna take it all off at the end. So this can get messy, so we're trying to keep it over our roasting pan to kind of contain the mess, but we wish you all well. Put your bag here and I'll try to put it back in the bag, you ready? Now, repeat this method for each color. It smells like kind of like cookies, but then it doesn't really smell like cookies mm -hmm. at all. Ooh. Ooh, what do you think? Good. Inside of some yellow. Yeah, so I was saying the same thing. Okay, make sure you close our bags when we're done so we don't accidentally spill them everywhere. Okay. It's like chicken feathers. Ooh, I love that color, Georgia. It kind of looks like corn. It looks like chicken feathers or corn. It's making me hungry for beans and rice. Mm. Ooh. 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 So pretty, right? Since we do have colored rice and a roasting pan, we might as well use this opportunity to do some sensory art. Do 
just so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you didn't make it under a rainbow. Ooh. Let your kiddo make different patterns and feel the rice between their hands. It's gonna look like confetti at the end of them. She has a lot of green. Kind of Van Gogh-ish to me for some reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like underneath them, it's a long time. Oh, there's It's just so cool. There you go, a Raza inspired Rangoli, just in time to help you celebrate Diwali. We hope everyone has a wonderful festival of lights. Especially our friends Arushi and Anya for inspiring this video. All right, and don't forget, we wanna see what you make. So be sure to tag us on Instagram, at Artisan Crafts, send me an email, jack at lovejack.com, or join us live in our Zoom class, Thursday mornings at 10. Happy creating and happy Diwali. Bye. Now I'd like you to sort it by color. <laughs> what?